How's it going, guys? My name is Sean. Welcome back to Powertrain On Demand. Uh, today, what we're going to do is a full body workout. All right, so you're going to kind of be targeting all different muscles throughout your body. It's going to be great for, you know, burning fat um, and, uh, you know, getting you guys a good sweat today. All right, so to warm up, I'm just going to do a quick uh, couple of exercises, get everything activated. Um, first one's going to be a bird dog. All right, so the bird dog, if you've ever done yoga, um, it's a great exercise. Work on, work on the posterior chain. All right, so you're going to be down on all fours. All right, and then from there, what you're going to do is you're going to alternate your arms, so opposite arm, opposite leg. You're going to simultaneously kick it straight back, get a quick little pause. All right, then we're going to bring it back down and we're going to switch sides. All right, so we're just going to go for about five reps each side. It's nice and controlled. There we go, good. Big squeeze, really trying to straighten out that leg at the top. Imagine like you should be able to put a uh, glass of water on your back without it falling off. There we go, squeeze back. Let's do two more. Perfect, last one. And good right there. All right, up next, what we're gonna do is a stationary side-to-side -side lateral lunge. All right, this one's gonna be great for warming up your hips. All right, so what we're gonna do, gonna get in a nice wide stance. All right, from there, we're gonna rock into a lateral lunge. All right, to one side, you're gonna bring it back up to the middle and then switch back to the opposite side. You should really feel that good stretch in the inner, uh, inner hips, as well as warming up the outer glutes. Oh yeah, feeling good. So again, just going five reps each side of this one, just get a little nice warm up. There's three. Three, really keeping the weight back on the heels, focus on pushing the hips back, keeping good chest posture. Four. Good, last one. And one more, here we go. Perfect, good. All right, up next, we're gonna warm up the shoulders. All right, so if you have a band, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab your band. All right, from there, we're gonna do what we call is a band pull apart. All right, so you wanna grab the band about shoulder width apart. All right, focus on pinching your shoulders back, and then we're just gonna squeeze it back. All right, so changing the angle for you guys, pulling it back, keeping good tension on the band, pinching with the shoulder blades. All right, so we're just gonna go for 12 good reps in this one. Number four. Good, five. Six. Seven. Squeezing that back. Eight. Nine, 10, 11, and 12. Good, guys. All right, so what we're gonna do is uh, we got four exercises, um, two groupings of exercises. The first one's gonna really target the quads. Then we're gonna go for the abs. All right, followed up by some chest and some biceps. All right, the next section, we'll kind of uh, hit all the other areas that we didn't hit yet. All right, so what we're gonna do first, let's grab dumbbell. All right, so you're gonna hold the dumbbell. I have a five pounder. I uh, don't need much weight. What we're gonna do is we're gonna hold that dumbbell straight up overhead. All right, whichever uh, arm you're holding it in, we're gonna lunge back with that, that same leg. All right, so gonna do 12 good reverse lunges and then we'll switch legs from there. All right, so again, holding up here, overhead dumbbell, all right, dropping down into a lunge. All right, so we're gonna go 12 good reps. Good, two, three, really load up that front heel, four, Gonna do a little tap at the top, right back down to that next lunge. Good, seven, eight, nine, 10, two more. Should feel a little quad burn, 11 and 12. Good, switching arms, all right, so opposite arm. Again, if you're holding your left hand, left leg's going back. Here we go, ready? Drop it down, one, two, Oh yeah, three, feel that burn in the legs, feels good. Four, five, six, seven, getting them quads right, come on. Eight, I'm burning with you. Nine, 10, last two, 11, and 12. Good, quick little breather, guys. All right, you're gonna keep your dumbbell. And if you have a mat, grab a mat. Up next, we're gonna target the core, all right? So what we're gonna do for that one, very similar. Okay, so you're gonna be laying on your back here. Let me move my little uh, speaker. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna keep, uh, again, one arm up. All right, whatever arm is up, that leg's gonna be straight. Opposite knee's gonna bend. All right, and then from there, we're going into an overhead sit-up. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna flex up, hold it for two. One, two, and then back down. Using all the abs, two, two. 
Really try to keep your eyes up, looking up through the dumbbell. It's three. Good. Four. Five. Really try not to use momentum going forward. Try to go straight to the ceiling. Six. Two more. Seven. Last one. And eight. Good job, guys. Eight sit-ups. Now we get to switch sides. All right, so again, straight leg, arm extended. All right, straight up to the ceiling. There's one. Two, and feel free if it's too hard, you know, drop the dumbbell, focus on the form, form over the weight. Here we go. Hold it, three, four, chin up nice and tall, five, you got this, come on, push through, six, seven, and eight, excellent. All right, so you guys get to stay on the mat. All right, ditch your dumbbell. Up next, we're gonna do a perfect push-up. All right, what that entails, you're gonna get into a good high plank, all right, from there, you're gonna control the motion of the push-up down. All right, so three seconds down. All right, you're gonna let your chest actually drop, hands up, and then we're gonna push straight up from the ground. All right, so our goal is to get 10. Three seconds down, nice hands up, big push. All right, if that's too challenging, feel free to drop down to your knees, and you're gonna do the same exact thing. All right, so control the motion, lift the hands, and push to the ground, okay? Let's get it going, here we go. Perfect push-up, one, Two, three, hands up at the bottom, and push, good. Two, two, three, and up. Three, two, three, good. Just really be conscious of your hips. Make sure your butt's not dropping too low. Keep the core engaged tight. Number four, and up. Five, two, three, and up. Five more, you got this. Six, two, three, and up. Seven, two, three, big push. Eight, two, three, last two, fighting for it. I know the chest is burning, come on. Hopefully you guys are sweating like I am already. Last one, and boom, there it is, perfect. All right, up next, we're gonna hit some biceps, all right? So what we're gonna need again, two sets of dumbbells. If you don't have dumbbells, grab some cans, you know, anything that's weighted. All right, but find a wall, okay? so. Make sure you don't take any pictures down off the wall or anything like that. Um, but you're gonna get nice and low into a squat. All right, holding that, and then from there, we're just gonna bicep curl. All right, so underhand grip, ready, going for 12. So control it, full extension back. Really try to glue your elbows all the way back to the wall and make sure you're not having bad posture at all. Three, I don't know what's burning more, my legs and my arms. Four. And five, here we go. Sun's out, gun's out. Six, seven, and eight, come on. Nine, 10, two more. 11, and 12. I don't know about you, uh, hopefully if you have heavier dumbbells, your biceps will be burning, but my legs, man, I'm feeling my legs, that's for sure. All right, so that uh, wraps up round one. All right, grab a sip of water if you have it. All right, from there, we're gonna do a whole nother round of this exercise, okay? Woo, here we go. All right, guys, so that was round one. All right, so we're gonna do a whole nother round of those uh, exercises. All right, again, starting off, um, need one dumbbell, up overhead, we're gonna go into a reverse lunge, okay? So what we're gonna do next is uh, from here, you're gonna pretty much, again, extend the dumbbell up overhead, and we're gonna drop down into a lunge. All right, going for 12, there's one, two, Really trying to stabilize with that shoulder. Three, if you have any shoulder issues, feel free just to hold the dumbbell down by your side. Four. Five. Six, good, come on. Seven. Getting better, every rep. Eight. Nine, make sure the shoulder stays straight ahead. 10. 11. And 12, switching arms, here we go. Let's get it done. All right, again, left arm, left leg. Let's see what you got. Drop down, there's one. Put all the weight on that front heel. Two. Three. Four. Five. Sweating up a storm. Here we go. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Core cool, tight. Pull that belly button in. Ten. Eleven. And 12, good work guys. All right, legs get a quick breather. 
Let's attack those abs. Let's get that six pack everybody's looking for. All right, so again, if you're holding in your right hand, right leg straight, get a nice 90 degree knee bend, chin up tall. I'm gonna crunch towards the ceiling. Pick some out in the ceiling, go straight up towards it. Ready? And go. There's one. Two. There we go. Feel that flexion in the abs. Three. Four. Five. Too easy. Come on. Six. Seven. Last two. Eight. Actually, last one. I can't count. All, legs, or all the bloods in my muscles, not my brain. Here we go. Switch sides. Ready? And up. There is one. Good. Two. Still going right to the ceiling. Come on. Three. Four. Five. Four is burning. Six. Seven. Last rep. And eight. Excellent, guys. Woo. Feel the burn. Core's feeling tight already. I'm loving it. All right, up next again, perfect push-ups. Let's make them great. Here we go. All right, so again, either on the knees or up into the high plank. It's last set. Let's challenge ourselves if you can. Do a couple reps on, on the high plank. All right, so high plank right into this position. Three seconds down. Here we go. One, two, three. Rest the chest. Hands up. Push to the ground. Two, two, three. And up. Back down. Good. Really inch down as slow as you can. Just control that eccentric motion. Good. And five. Good. Six. You got this. One rep at a time. Focusing on the form. Seven. Give me three. Eight. There we go. We'll punch that ground. Come on. Move that ground. Nine. And ten. Whew. I have to clean this mat pretty good. I'm sweating really crazy. All right, up next, again, gonna get that upper body pump, little bicep curls with the wall sit. All right, so find a wall. Again, make sure you don't knock anything off your walls. All right, sink down low, at least try to get a 90 degree knee bend. Elbows tucked tight, and we got 12 curls. There's one. Two, water breaks coming up, don't worry. Three. Four. Five, six, good, stay low, come on. Seven, I'm burning with you. Eight, nine, 10, last two, 11. And that is all she wrote on the first round, guys. Grab some water. I got my little Gatorade with me. Gotta do the zero though, keep it low, lower calories, you know what I'm saying? Whew. All right, up next, um, what we're gonna do, so again, we, we targeted in the first round, quads, rectus abdominis, chest, biceps. All right, up next, we're gonna target hamstrings. Again, some more core. All right, we're gonna target the back and some triceps. All right, it's all about muscle symmetry, keeping everything balanced. That's how you guys are gonna stay healthy, all right? The first exercise, I'm gonna ditch the mat out of the way. All right, we're gonna go into what we call a pendulum RDL. All right, might have also seen it uh, as a single leg RDL. All right, so if you're looking at me from the side, I'm holding the dumbbell in my right hand. I'm gonna keep a soft knee bend in my left leg, keep it locked there. All right, since I'm holding it in my right hand, I'm gonna kick my right leg back. All right, so back's flat. I'm gonna pendulum that leg. All right, keep it balanced and then focus on pulling through the heel. All right, if that's challenging for you guys and you wanna go double leg RDLs, same thing. A little knee bend, pushing that butt back. Travel the dumbbells down your legs, pulling through the heels, okay? Let's challenge ourselves. Let's get the single leg going, all right? So four seconds on the way down, nice and slow. Gonna kind of travel straight down, focusing on balance. All right, then pull through the heel, lever those hips forward. Four seconds. Boom, there's two. Try to really kick into a straight leg if possible. Three, should really feel that stretch in the left hamstring. Four. Five, there we go. Six, last two. Seven. And eight, switch sides guys, that was good. All right, hopefully if you're challenging, uh, challenging with the balance, 
All right, feel free to hold on to a wall or anything next to you, okay? All right, so up next, again, right leg's gonna stay on the ground, left leg holding the dumbbell, left leg getting kicked back. And again, if you need balance, hold on to a wall. It's gonna help keep the shoulder stable. All right, number two. Yep, my right leg's a little less stable. Three. Four again, keep the weight on the right heel, pushing that hips, the hips back. Five, doing great guys. Six, last two. Seven, last one. Good job, there we go, eight, perfect. All right, so we can ditch the dumbbell. All right, again, we're gonna attack the abs. All right, core strength, it's gonna help keep your back healthy. It's that, uh, that good summer look everybody's going for. All right, so what we're going to do next, we're going to attack more lower abs with a gar hammer. All right, so if you want to, feel free. Put your hands underneath your butt. Relax your head. All right, we're going to draw your knees up into your chest. We're going to try to get a little hip extension off the ground. Then we're going to focus on kicking the legs straight out. Okay? So first one right here. Hips up. And back out. There's one. Two. Three, if that's you know, kind of comfortable, keep your arms by your side, that's totally okay too. Or you can hug your chest. Five. Six. Seven. Feel those abs stretching the core. Eight. Nine. And ten. Two more. Eleven. And that's twelve. Sitting up. Whew. How's that feeling, guys? I know I'm feeling pretty good. Getting a little tired. Got to push through for you guys. All right, so up next, again, we're going to grab dumbbells. We need two of them. All right, what we're going to do next is what we call a renegade row. All right, so we're going to get into a push-up plank. Goal behind the renegade row is to, from the push-up plank, row the arm back towards your hip. Get a nice elbow bend. Make sure you're not opening up your shoulders. Keep everything stable, so engage the core. We're going to bring it back down, and we're going to alternate it. All right, so if, again, if that one's too hard, drop down to your knees. All right, again, keep the core tight, and you're just going to alternate every rail. All right, this is a great one for the back, but it's also going to be great for core stability. All right, functional strength. All right, here we go. High plank. Back towards the hip, hold it for a second. Bring it down to the ground, and switch. Good, there's one. Make sure that butt's not raising up too high. Good, two. Two. We're going to go for eight of these each side. Three. The more you widen out your base, the easier it's going to be for stability. Four. Four. Core tight. Five. Five. Six. Six. Last two. Seven. Sweating up my floor. Seven. Eight. And eight, great job guys. So if you're feeling that a little bit more in your abs than you are your back, you are doing it correct, all right? Up next, we're gonna do a dumbbell bent over kickback, all right? So just like an RDL, you're gonna push that butt back, keep your back flat. All right, from there we're gonna tuck the elbows, and the goal is just focusing on extending the elbow, okay? Really gonna hit the tricep in the back of the arm. Whew, I'm out of breath, I'm out of shape. All right, so what we're gonna do, push the butt back, Boom, all right, onto the heels. Elbows tucked tight, and extend the elbows. All right, squeeze, hold it for two. Gonna shoot for 12. Boom, in position. There's one, just bend back from the elbow. Hold it, two, three, flex the tricep. Four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, big squeeze. 10, last two, 11, and 12. Great job. Whew, sun's out, gun's out. Feeling good, I don't know what I'm doing wearing sleeves. We're hitting arms, you know, you should have a cutoff one right now. You know, show off the gains a little bit. All right, so what we're gonna do next, again, grab some water. All right, we've got a whole nother round, all right? Another chance to get better, starting off with Pendulum RDLs. Okay, so again, grab your one set of dumbbell. Um, if you're close to a wall and you need help with balance, feel free to hold on to a wall. All right, again, I'm gonna start with my right hand. 
which means my left leg's in the ground, soft knee bend, curl the toe up a little bit. All right, and we're gonna kick that leg back. Here we go, four seconds down, nice and slow. And pull on those hips, really focus on levering the hips, focusing on the glutes on the way up. Ooh, that was a bad rep, I'm not counting that one. There we go, two. Straight back. Three, this is a great one for knee stability. Keep the knee straight ahead. Four. Five. Six. Last two, oh, losing my balance again. Hold that wall, I know I'm, I'm a trainer and I'm still struggling. It's a tough exercise. Seven, last one. And eight, good, we switch sides, guys. Whew, feel good. Right hamstring, getting worked up next. Soft knee bend, pull those shoulder blades into a good position, and kick that back leg back. There's one. Good, two. Right leg's doing better on the set. Three. Four. Five. Six. Last two. Seven. One more. And there's eight. Good job, guys. All right, up next, we're moving on again to the abs. All right, so going floor guard hammer. And grab out your mat. All right, get to lay down. Try not to fall asleep on me. Hopefully I'm not too boring for you guys. All right, and what you're gonna do next, you're gonna kind of tuck your hands underneath your butt. All right, pull your head back, hip extension, straighten out those legs, just like you're doing six inches. There we go. Two. Three. Four, feel free, make it harder, hug the chest. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Last two, core is burning. Eleven, and twelve. Whew. Takes your breath away. Something like good ab burn. All right, I'm ditching the mat, getting that out of here. Done with it. All right, up next, we're going into the renegade row. All right, so again, push up, plank, iso rowing it back towards your hips. All right, so drop it down, here we go. Good base, core tight, row it, hold it for two. There's one, again, eight reps each out of these guys. One, two, two, three, three, engage those abs. Four, four, you can do it, believe in the strength. Five, whatever you put your mind to, you can do it. Five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, and eight. Whew. That's rough after doing those gar hammers. I'm sweating, I need, a, need something to wipe my face with. All right, last thing we got, actually keep these dumbbells. We're doing your dumbbell kickback. All right, gonna finish off with some triceps. Yeah, get a quick little weight. Oh man, feeling good. All right, here we go. Push the butt back. Again, good RDL position, so you wanna curl your toes up, flatten the back out, tuck the elbows, and we're extending the elbow straight back. Ready? And go. There's one, a little pause on each of them. Two, shooting for 12. Make sure your neck stays neutral, so don't arch it up, looking down too much. Three. Four, five, six, good. Flex that tricep, come on. Seven, eight, nine, ten, last two, eleven, and that is all she wrote, guys. All right, guys, so if you want to make this uh, work out a little bit harder, feel free to add a couple more rounds in. All right, try it for three rounds, try it for four rounds. Definitely get make that a little bit more challenging. Uh, feel free to tune into one of our cool down workouts. Uh, it's going to really help you. You know, again, focusing on flexibility and kind of relax that heart rate uh, is a good finisher for the session. Thank you again for tuning into Power Train on Demand. My name is Sean. Hopefully, you enjoyed the workout. Have a great day.